Epinephrine autoinjector is a device that gives a person who is going through anaphylactic shock the medicine to reverse the cause of the allergic reaction. You might commonly know this device as an EpiPen. Over the past few years, people have begun to be more allergic to common things, such as peanuts, red meat, and also insects, and more importantly, bumblebees and wasps. Originally, the EpiPen was not created to reverse the causes of anaphylaxis. It was used for men in the battlefield to give them more adrenaline. It wasn't until 1987 when the EpiPen was given a new formula to treat people going through this shock. This is the year the FDA finally approved it. The original price for an EpiPen was roughly $100. The reason it was so high was because food and insect allergies weren't as common as they are in today's society. Now, most insurances in today's world do not cover EpiPens, so people are left paying the entire amount just for a single-use injector. Without insurance, the child's auto-injector is roughly $110. For an adult with these allergies, the price can range anywhere from $100 to $600. This is just out-of-pocket costs just to save your own life. It isn't fair, considering you cannot control what you are allergic to. Most people are just born with it. With prices such as these, there is no way a common man or woman can afford them. They live each day with the chance that they can die from simply eating the wrong sandwich or even being stung by the wrong animal. More and more people are being diagnosed with allergies. Roughly 50 million people in the United States have allergies that need an EpiPen, but most cannot afford them. According to Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network, approximately 200 people die each year from anaphylaxis. This is a very high number of people to die from a more common illness. People are even becoming allergic to red meat by a simple tick bite. Some even develop a reaction to certain allergens because they are around it so much and their immune system cannot fight them off anymore. Since allergies and being allergic to common things are more common, I believe that the EpiPen should be more common in a pharmacy setting, school systems, and also in home settings. No one ever knows when they truly need it. But when it is needed, the knowledge on how to use it and the device being there will considerably help a person's life. Roughly, it takes two to three minutes of no oxygen circulation to the brain to cause brain damage. After four to six minutes, the brain will actually die. During anaphylactic shock, a person's throat begins to swell up, causing no airflow throughout the body. They also break out in a red, bumpy rash known as hives. By the time the EMS service will arrive, or if you chose to be brought to the hospital, the person is probably already dead. Without an EpiPen, people are actually more cautious, which is not allowing them to live their lives to their full potential. Issues such as bumblebees rise more in the spring and summer since the weather is starting to warm up and the days are very sunny. In the fall, under pine trees, ticks start to bite more. People shouldn't have to miss out on fun in the sun all because they have to pay so much for an important medicine that can save their life in the long run. This is unacceptable. Children and adults are suffering because the price of the medicine is so high. People are going day by day risking their own life because of the price of this medicine. It needs to be lowered since people are dependent on it. This is making children and adults miss out on fun activities such as going outside on a sunny day and enjoying the nice weather, or even eating a childhood favorite such as peanut butter and jelly. They deserve a chance to live just like any other human be being without these problems.